Welcome. This is the dreaded 7 Flash vapor lockout because my problem is my sensor, aka the sniffer, is bad. Now, before you do this, make sure that you've done checked your, your gas lines and make sure you don't have no flammable vapors in here like paint, paint thinner, gas, whatever. That will make this thing go off and give you the 7 Flash. But I've already checked everything on that and here it is. First what you want to do is know what kind of hardware you have. The Honeywell 24 volt is common on anything 2014 and up. Um, my hot water tank is an AO Smith and it's pretty common but the Honeywell control thermostat is basically on hollow. This sniffer, sometimes, remove this door here, will be loca located in the drain pan or inside your actual hot water tank. Mine was in this plastic box, so, and it was clipped on here. Might want to look for that too. But let's get to the point here. Everybody wants hot water. I have three kids and a wife. We need hot water. First thing you want to grab and make sure you have is a multimeter. You want to make sure your multimeter reads on ohms. This is a cheap one. It's called an Allison EM830 digital multimeter. I got it from Advanced Auto, so you can get them anywhere. Which first thing you want to do is go from the off position. Go to the 20K ohms first. Set that down. Go up here to your box. Turn it off. Turn your power off. Okay. Unhook your sniffer or your sensor. You can order these from Amazon or from your local provider, manufacturer. Set it off to the side. Now you want to make sure it don't label from hot to ground or anything like that, negative, positive. So you, what you have to do here is you see the negative one here. If you hook these up, Like I'm doing here and you turn your power on and you got all these crazy numbers that's great if you hook them up and you turn your power on and you still have a one that is not good I mean you have these hooked up backwards so make sure You hook these up correct. So you want to make sure you're getting the right reading. Okay. With mine, hot water tank, it has an electronic ignition. And if you come up here, you'll be able to read the instructions. Move to the on-off position. Go down to the low. That's where it's going to ignite from. And you got your 120s, 140s, temperatures. If your pilot is lighting, while it's lighting, it should go from bright, dim, bright, dim. They call that the heartbeat. But you should be showing seven flashes if this is the problem that we're going over. So, let's give it a try here. What I like to do, just so I know, is I turn my switch to very hot. Turn my switch back on, turn the knob down to low. And we should hear it. Hear that click? Down here. You'll hear it. Aha. Hot water. If you look up here, status. And the light's kind of messing it up, but... It's blinking a heartbeat light. Flash on, flash off, flash on. So, come back down this window here. This is your window you want to look in. And you ain't going to be able to see it now, but you should just look in here and see a flame. A nice blue, bright flame. After that, come back up here. Now remember, the hot, you were at 120. 
I like to keep mine between A and B. That keeps me between 130 and 140. Still hot, but mixed with cold water, you're good. Your multimeter should be doing the crazy number dance. And if you got that, you're cooking. Like I said, this is a temporary fix. I only recommend it to do temporarily until you can get you a new sniffer sensor. Like I said, Amazon or your manufacturer will carry that. Thanks for watching.